All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name's Dan Check. I am VP Platform Services at Grafana Labs. And uh, as of sometime last year, a uh, co-maintainer of Graphite. So uh, this talk is basically going over all the work that's been done over the past uh, 18 months or so that I've been involved with the Graphite project and uh, talk to you about all the things that are, that are new and exciting in Graphite uh, 1.1, which we released in December and we've had a couple of point releases uh, over the last couple of months. And uh, we're, as Grafana Labs and as the, the Graphite team, uh, committed to moving Graphite forward and continuing development uh, of, the, uh, of the Graphite platform. Let's see if we can. Click is working today. So I think everyone, everyone here is, is aware of Graphite. It's been around approximately forever, or since 2008. Um, I got involved uh, in 2016. Uh, Jason Dixon, who was, was heading the project at the time, uh, approached me and asked uh, if I could could pitch in and help with getting the Graphite 1.0 release uh, off the ground. Uh, again, I think ev everyone here is aware of, of uh, how delayed that was, and uh, you know, we had we had a lot of hurdles to overcome there with uh, the the amount of change that accumulated between 0.9 branch and 1.0. Uh, so through uh, the the latter part of 2016 and through uh, 2017, we uh, we got all that resolved. Uh, we we did a bunch of work. We got uh, we got a 1.0 release out the door finally for Graphite, and uh, that was when the real work started for me, at least. As you can see uh, from my little, little chart here, uh, once we kicked out 1.0, uh, work started in earnest on 1.1, and uh, that's when things started to get interesting. So, what's new? <laughs> what isn't? Uh, the big the big headline feature that uh, that everyone had been waiting for and talking about and clamoring for in Graphite was tag support. Uh, so we had a lot of discussion about that at, uh, at the last GrafanaCon and uh, at Monitorama last year and came up with a plan uh, to implement tag support in Graphite in a way that would play nicely with the existing ecosystem uh, of Graphite and, and give, us, give us a path forward to, to really um, give Graphite that runway that it needs to continue as a project and to, and to keep growing. The, uh, the other big stuff that we worked on was another round of clustering updates. So we made a, a lot of headway uh, with 1.0. Uh, we solved a lot of the problems that uh, Graphite had before that, uh, that Vlad was talking about yesterday where you had uh, serial requests going out to each of your backend nodes and things like this. It was just, just crazy. Uh, so in 1.0, uh, you know, we, we solved all those problems, but uh, the, the underlying design still had issues. And uh, we fixed that in 1.1. So <clears throat> it has a, a major refactor of all the clustering code, all of the uh, back-end find, <coughs> find code uh, to simplify all of that. Then the other stuff we did was we, we looked at the, the front end, how people actually interact with Graphite and uh, use the function libraries, write queries, and uh, you know, what you can actually do from an analytics standpoint uh, with Grafana and Graphite and tried to make that experience better. Uh, so make it more intuitive for users to use, uh, solve a lot of the problems people had of not having the functions that they needed to be able to, to do the work that they wanted to do or having inconsistencies between different functions that, that uh, should operate similarly. Oh, so we fixed those. And uh, the last big update that, that we managed to squeeze into 1.1, uh, almost right before release, uh, was the support for custom functions. So that, that gives you the ability to write your own functions that you can plug into Graphite and have them uh, be available not only within Graphite, but actually as first class citizens within Grafana. So if you load a custom function into Graphite, it, uh, it becomes available in the new UI that you can see here. Uh, so what we can see on that UI, it, uh, this little screenshot is demonstrating 
Uh, so in Grafana, we added the capability uh, for you to build queries using tags in Graphite. So that has full uh, auto-completion of everything that's in uh, the tag database in Graphite. And uh, then we updated Grafana to be able to actually read the list of functions, all of their parameters, all their definitions, everything that's available uh, in the Graphite API. Grafana actually reads from Graphite in real time. So what you see in Grafana is exactly what you have available in Graphite. If you update your uh, Graphite installation, uh, you know, we put out another point release and you update it, any new functions we add, any new parameters we add, they're all available in Grafana instantaneously. You don't have to wait for a Grafana update. So let's go into some more detail. This is, uh, this is the fun stuff. So in the past, everyone's seen this before. Graphite, purely hierarchical model. You, know, you, had to, you had to make a lot of decisions up front about what you wanted your uh, metric structure to look like. You had to choose up front, OK, my first node is going to represent something. Here I've got an environment. Then a data center, then a particular server, then some stat and uh, some attribute of it. The problem with that is that it's very inflexible. If you, if you take this and you now want to change that to add, uh, say, a role, all your existing dashboards are going to break. Uh, so not only is it inflexible, but it's also very brittle. Because it's difficult to make change, and if you do go ahead and actually make that change, you break everything. You have to then go re-engineer all of your dashboards. It's, it's this massive problem. Uh, and with a purely hierarchical model, it's almost impossible to solve. And uh, not only that, but you can't even add additional data onto the end of your model, because you'll still break all your dashboards. <laughs> so we needed something more flexible. The other problem with the hierarchical model is that it's opaque. So we can look at this, and we can kind of divine what that means based on our knowledge of how systems are typically structured, and we can make educated guesses about what each of those nodes within the metrics hierarchy might represent. But when you're dealing with uh, metrics that are coming out of an application where you may not know the internal uh, structure of that app, uh, things that don't map quite so cleanly, and onto an uh, easily understandable model, it becomes really difficult to discover where your metrics are and, OK, should I be going down this branch of the hierarchy or, or down that branch? Uh, so it's not self-documenting. It's very opaque. It's very difficult to, uh, to figure out what's going on when you come into a new hierarchy. Where do I need to look? How do I find stuff? Tag solve these problems. So with tag support, uh, we're able to make a lot of these things uh, much more flexible and much easier to use. Big question there was, OK, that's all, that's all given. We all understand that. We know what's wrong with Graphite. We know that we can fix these problems with tags. But how are we going to do it? You know, we have this existing system, and we don't, wanna, we don't want tags to be bolted on. But at the same time, we want to not break any of the existing Graphite infrastructure. We want to play nicely with everything that's, that's, um, that's out there that people have built around Graphite. And we want to make sure that it, it, uh, it works and it, it's, it's a usable system. So we took a look at the existing systems that, that did have tag metrics. And, OK, what, what are they doing that's good? What are they doing that uh, we think could be better? And we tried, to, we tried to bring a lot of the, the knowledge and experience that uh, the people working with Prometheus and InfluxDB have had to, had to get the hard way and, uh, and kind of build on that. And you know, I, I see that as being exactly what open source software is all about, of being able to stand on the shoulders of giants and take advantage of, of the hard won knowledge of other people. Uh, so we did that. And uh, we found a lot, of, a lot of really great stuff, a lot of stuff that we really liked. And uh, a lot of things that uh, you'll see uh, in what we did in Graphite is quite similar to what's available in especially Prometheus. We had to look at how to, as I said before, you know, make sure that we don't disrupt the existing Graphite ecosystem. So we tried, to, we tried to make sure that everything we do fits in and is additive to what's uh, already there. Finally, keep it simple. <laughs> 
you know, uh, this, this system, we want it to be easy to use. We wanted it to be in the code, straightforward, easy to maintain, uh, simple to understand how it works, and try to, try to make sure that the, the next person who comes in, in my situation of coming into a new code base, not knowing too much about it, is able to go through that code base, look at it, understand how it works, and, and be able to pick up uh, this project and, and continue to move it forward. Uh, and I think, we've, I think we've done a pretty decent job of that. <laughs> so we made the decision that we were going to add tags to the existing scheme uh, by appending them onto the end of the metric names. Uh, so the metric that we saw before would now look something like this, where we have, we have our actual metric, and then we have a set of tags. And we can, we can identify each item with a, with a name that, that describes what that tag can do. It uh, makes things much more flexible. It's very easy to, to add more tags. Everything has a built-in name. And uh, we, can, we can add tags to metrics without breaking existing dashboards, uh, because the, the dashboards are, are built not around having to address the entire uh, schema, but in locating metrics by the tags that that dashboard cares about. We made it simple, and uh, we made it pluggable. So, uh, out of the box, Graphite uh, 1.1 supports uh, multiple different methods for storing your, your tag database. Uh, so the tags are stored in an, in an outboard database, uh, which can be any one of these uh, SQL-based in Redis. And we also have support for uh, any tag database that, that implements a basic HTTP uh, model uh, that Graphite can interact with. Querying is very, very simple. Uh, anyone who's used Prometheus will find this to be relatively familiar. We support a similar set of operators. They work basically the same way that they do in Prometheus. And uh, we have this series by tag function, which is the base for everything that we do uh, with tags in Graphite. So you want to locate your series, you call series by tag, and give it uh, the specifiers that you want to use. Big difference here that you'll notice from Prometheus is that in Graphite, uh, the name of the series is just another tag. So you're not obliged to use that. Uh, you can locate series by any selection of tags that you want. We just treat name as another tag, uh, the same as any other. And uh, the other thing that we did is anywhere that uh, in Graphite 0 0.9 you would use the node numbers, uh, alias by node 1, what does that mean? You can use a tag name there. If your metric has tags, you can group by tags, you can alias by tags, you can use tags anywhere that uh, in the past you would have had to use nodes, uh, but you can mix and match. So uh, we can address uh, the series that comes back uh, from that query, which would be what we saw before. We can address into that by, by node, uh, into the individual portions of the name, and we can address it by tag. Clustering. Uh, we, co we covered quite a bit of that in the intro. Uh, so 1.0, you know, major step forward, but it was still really complicated on the back end. Uh, we had a lot of different uh, asynchronous processes going on, trying to deal with local stores, remote stores, stuff like that. Um, we rewrote it again for 1.1. Uh, this time, rather than trying to patch up what was already there, I kind of took a more of a clean slate approach. And uh, we streamlined it, simplified it, we were able to reduce uh, the intra-cluster request volume. So within clusters, your render requests, now you have a single HTTP request to each backend node. Uh, we added support for using message pack internally, so uh, we don't have to use Pickle anymore. Uh, if you don't want to, <laughs> Pickle's still the default. Uh, but we do see a, a quite a good performance improvement using message pack. And there are a lot of different flexible layouts we can use with tags for, for handling sharding and multiple backend nodes. And, and I'd be happy to talk about that in a, a lot more detail if anyone's interested uh, in the different options they can use uh, to make this work in their uh, clustered graphite setup. We added new function syntax. Uh, so you can see the old version is really impenetrable. Uh, new syntax matches the Grafana UI. So you can take your functions, string them together in a line, uh, with uh, pipes, make a pipeline, and uh, your requests will flow through that pipeline and be processed by each function in turn. Exactly how you, how you do things in Grafana. 
Graphite now supports that natively. And it supports uh, being able to mix and match, put, put uh, nested function calls together with pipe, pipe calls. We went through uh, the function library. <laughs> it was definitely very wild and woolly. And uh, you had just this proliferation of functions. Uh, so we went through and said, OK, we're going to uh, take those and centralize a lot of the processing. So all the aggregation functions, that anything that's, that's combining data together, whether it's across time or across series, is all centralized now. Uh, that makes things a lot easier for, for maintenance. And uh, you can see here, we, we replaced all of those functions with aggregate. We did the same thing for sort, for filter, so on. All the old functions are still available. You can continue to use them. We do intend to deprecate those at some point, uh, but right now they're, they're supported. I would definitely say, you know, in your dashboard, start using the new functions. They're, uh, they're a lot more powerful. Finally, we added custom function support. Uh, so you can now write your own functions, plug them right into Graphite. Very, very simple. Uh, single Python file. Uh, follow the documentation and drop it into your Graphite install. It's going to pick it up. Instantly available in Graphite, instantly available in Grafana. Uh, and we're, uh, we're in the process of putting together uh, uh, some pages in the documentation where if, if, you, if you send us a link to your custom functions, we're happy to share them uh, for other people to be able to use them as well. Uh, the first one we have available is written by another one of the Graphite maintainers. Uh, based on some presentations that have been given at Monitorama over the years on uh, ASAP smoothing, which is a really neat technique. Uh, so that's now available in Graphite, uh, thanks to custom functions. Coming soon, uh, we're going to have remote uh, read-write support for Prometheus. So you can use Graphite as a long-term store for your Prometheus metrics and roll metrics up from multiple Prometheus servers into Graphite, query them back out again. Uh, and we're working with the larger Graphite community uh, and collect the stats, the, all of those to, to add tag support into the rest of the Graphite ecosystem. Uh, so that's, that's pretty much my talk. Uh, thank you very much. And uh, and anyone who's involved in uh, any aspect of the, the Graphite community, please, uh, I'm, I'm around, come talk to me. I'm really keen to hear what people are doing with Graphite, what people would like to see in the future. And uh, anyone who's building tools around Graphite uh, would love to talk to you about how we can uh, basically keep the community together and bring all of the, uh, all the different parts of this, this larger Graphite ecosystem that's grown up around the core Graphite project uh, into a unified place and, and work together to push Graphite forward for the future. <laughs>